Hey guys, what's up? Enkas Reddy here and welcome back to another tip video. Today I'm going to show you how I use, how actually I add glow into my videos whenever I use any object which has emission, how I do or how I basically add glow in compositing. I will show you both After Effect and Blender methods. So right now we, we are inside Blender and this is our previous tutorial. So let me play one time. So this is a simulation where these balls are moving inside this phone based on the tracking and our real actual movement. So if you're interested, go and check it. So if you'll notice, we have actually a glowing light inside the phone. So first thing first, if I'll go here and choose this as a compositing. So this is the render layers uh, setups which I can export. Okay, so to see the compositing magic live into your live into here, I will click here and choose compositor and choose always this is the file output here. I will do the rendering and this is the viewer which will be uh, which if you'll add anything over here, this will be visible over here. Okay, so if I'll add simply search bloom or glare you will see a bunch of options into the glare. So I'll choose glare and click here and it will automatically plug image into image and here into the viewer. So now you can see we are able to see some cool looking, you know, light strikes here. And here is a bunch of options as well as, so if I'll choose this as a bloom, we, you will able to notice some, uh, you know, here you can see before and after if I'll make 12 you will you will able to see a uh, much brighter you can see the glow so this there is a bunch of options which you can play with the saturation and all also the glare size here, here you can notice i there is a cool one let me show you that this ghost one you can see let's make it two for now and uh, saturation i'll keep it like over here and iteration i'll just increase it or if you want you can decrease it so let's I want four and here I can play with the color modulation and let me play. So you can see, look at these cool streaks. Okay, so this is a one way which you can do. So let's suppose you like the bloom like this one. So if I press M to mute, you can see before and after. And let's add five, let's suppose five. And if you like this, then plug this image over here. So this will be also render, okay? So this is a one way, the another way is using after effect so if i'll go here to the passes and i already enable the emission pass so here you can see this is emission pass and it will only work if you have emission into your scene so right now you can see we have this emission so if, let me mute this so you can see we have these emission layer okay let me go to the composition so once you render this and once you import everything like here if will uh, let me reset this and solo this layer so if I'll go to the layer and choose emission. So now you can see we imported that and if you'll uncheck this and here I will, this is by default and if I'll change this blending mode to the add, it will compose it on top of our actual footage. But here if you'll add, let me select this layer and if I'll add a glow effect from after effect, here you can see I can add the same type of same type of a glow here into the compositing as well as so you can see this process is very easy if you want to use it in compositing make sure to export the emission pass if you want to directly use inside blender you can definitely use this method so i hope you enjoy this tip video let me know i will make some more tip video for blender thanks for watching this one